guys, welcome back. This is me, Bruce, with another episode of Fire Voltage. And today I will show you some defensive replays. And that's pretty much it, but uh, no worries, I will also upload the video later on with some PvP raids. And yeah, let's go to the defensive lock. And at the moment I get raided a board. Today I actually got raided 10 times. But at the moment I get raided on average a board uh, 7 to 10 times a day. And today it was quite funny because I wasn't able to uh, defend successfully. And let's quickly review my base design. I am not really happy at the moment with it. And I did some minor changes. And as it turns out, those minor changes were pretty bad. And I just realized that uh, one of my prototype defenses, uh, defenses expired. And this is not cool at all. So I will actually make sure that I got another prototype defense there because without the prototype defense or without two prototype defenses, defending is so much more difficult. And let's place that one here. There we go. Bam. Okay, done. So I do have uh, two prototype defenses now again. And let's quickly review my prototype defenses. And I'm, I'm actually lacking one complex gear to build another shock blaster level three. So I have to go with two shock blasts level two at the moment, but that's not too bad, I would say. And now actually let's go to the defensive lock and uh, let's scroll down. And by the way, guys, here's, do you see that? Um, I actually got attacked by Angel D. Let's claim the reward. I don't get Intel because uh, he attacked me two times before, but not um, he did not fail, he actually was so friendly and um, uh, gave me four intel, so thanks for that mate and cheers to you, shout out. And uh, yeah, um, I think he got his Gumboat Energy boosted, I'm not too sure. Let's quickly check out his base because he's in the German leaderboards. So where is he? I think somewhere around, where, where is Angel D? Angel D, where are you? I cannot find you. What is happening here? He should be in the German leaderboards, but I can't see him. In any way, we have to make an educated guess if he was boosted or not. And I think he got his gunboat energy boosted. Maybe his attack statue, I'm not sure. In any way, view battle. Uh, by the way, he brought three boats of heavies and five boats of Suka, so I will know immediately it was a Smoky Hooker attack. And lately, I'm getting a lot of Smoky Hooker attacks. And guys, I have to remodel my base today. This is very urgent. So first move, barraging the machine gun and the sniper tower. And I think he used two barrages there. Um, in any way, I do have to remodel my base today. And as you all know, I will go on vacation and I will actually fly out tonight. And I have to remodel my base before that because there's so many smoky hooker attacks at the moment and as you can see first land the heavies and uh, then the sukas and he's flaring them in a really nice straight line so this looks all very good not too messy at all and as you can see the quarry is not really splitting up the troops and i have this very straight runway there which is a bit unfortunate um, and not optimal and he's locating his troop on the top right of the headquarters and this is all looking very good, not messy at all. And I think he lost a few troops on the way, but uh, not too many troops. And the smoke will lift in a second. Let's flare the headquarters and then the shocks. And this is basically the standard uh, smoky hooker um, attack strategy that um, a lot of people are, uh, are using at the moment uh, on this particular base design. And executed quite well. There's not really too much I can say about that. Um, he still has a lot of Sukas. Uh, my mortars were not fast enough to pick them up. And um, in any way, that was a really good attack. Nice one, mate. Well done. Um, I do have to remodel my base before I leave because um, <clears throat> all those smoky hook attacks at the moment, um, uh, this particular base design is now um, done. So people have figured out how to beat it and so it's time to move on with another base design and let's go to the next attack and this one was uh, surprisingly enough um, an RZM attack claim the reward and view battle and let's see what this guy was doing um, and at this point my boost expired because yesterday before I went to bed I actually forgot 
um, to boost my statue and as soon as um, I have my blue statue not boosted anymore um, people with RZM are attacking me and the main reason is that, that RZM needs to destroy the rocket launchers and if I'm boosted this becomes so much more difficult and um, so boosting that one defensive uh, statue that one building has statue makes such a big difference guys it's amazing and let's see what he's doing there um, as you can see the rocket launcher is not really hurting his uh, rifleman too much and um, he's not actually uh, not even um, not even shocking the rocket launcher apparently the medics are strong enough and I assume he was boosted I don't really know in any way, um, he's going frontal and as you all know, I like the frontal attack because in my opinion it is always a wise decision to uh, spread out your troops, especially RZM and heavies and Sukas. And yeah, uh, shocking the shock blaster, this is I guess most important. So the mortars are not doing enough damage, this is due to the fact that my building damage uh, statue is not boosted. And I was hoping to pick up more troops with the flamethrower here, but this was not the case. And he's rolling all over my base and I'm quite surprised that it is going that well. But then again, I had no uh, blue statues boosted. So this really makes a difference that one boost uh, will decide between victory and loss, especially with RCDM. And before the prototype defenses were introduced, RCDM was really a strong strategy. And since we have the prototype defenses, RCDM has lost a lot and is doing not as good as it did before but still he's taking me down there we go let's move on to the next guy and just a bit unfortunate that i forgot to boost uh, my gunboat and uh, my building has masterpiece because it would have been quite interesting and this seems to be a quite odd strategy this guy is ba basically playing all troops claim the reward view battle and those guys they cannot succeed when i boost but without a boost it is actually doable i will speed it up to two times speed now He's barraging the rocket launchers once again. And as you can see, he's getting a lot of free gunboat energy there, but his barrages were very messy. He needed two artillery shells on the right rocket launcher. And now he's also barraging the shock launcher in the back. And again, with a building health boost that is so, so much entirely different, it, it just uh, makes it so much more difficult for those guys. And it is really a weird, a weird troop combination he's bringing there. I think it's one boat of heavies, um, like I think three or four boats of riflemen, no, three boats I guess, um, some medics and sukas, and he's also taking the frontal approach and once again spreading out your troops is the most effective strategy and he's doing not too bad here, he's cruising through my base and again I wonder how it went, uh, would have went down with a boost, and but that's alright, he's taking down my base, well done mate. Uh, let's all, uh, move on to the next guy and again guys I have to remodel my base today my base design is now obsolete um, people know how to beat it and so it's not worth deploying it anymore and this warrior guy took me down very easy apparently so this is all actually very painful for me to watch but um, it's alright I will show it to you and later on I will remodel it uh, boost my blue statues again and then go from there and what he's doing there, he's taking out a machine gun, very weird. Um, I assume he's now landing his troops on the left side. Interesting, what will he do? Ah, the standard standard move with the, the critters to distract the shock blaster. And he's flaring over there. It's looking actually pretty good what he's doing there. Um, this seems to be quite, quite um, gunboat energy saving. Um, quite an efficient approach to flare to the headquarters okay he's flaring over there now interesting um, what he's doing now okay I, I don't know what he was doing there he could have flared to the base directly but he decided to take a detour and let's see what he will shock I assume the shock blaster um, no not the shock blaster actually um, my my defensive buildings are actually firing on him and yeah, I think with a boost there, it's so much more difficult for him. In any way, he took me down before, it's not too bad. But yeah, I, I really have to remodel that base, guys. It is funny how base designs come base designs come and go. And as soon as people have figured out how to beat it, um, you have to move on. And another warrior attack there. 
uh, claim the reward by the way guys i'm earning about 50 to 100 diamonds a day depending on how much i have boosted my statues it is really insane i'm getting so many diamonds from defenses view battle also intel i'm earning minimum 150 intel a week sometimes even more depending on how much i play and what is this guy doing here he's taking out one mine with one artillery shell this is in my opinion a waste um, so let's speed it up to two times speed what he's doing next uh, by the way at this point um, the shock blaster was expired so this makes it even easier for him um, so with the shock blaster and with building health boost and building damage boost it becomes so much more difficult for the people to beat me and as you can see here once again um, those small details make such a big difference and again he used the same same approach here this detour around the shock blaster on the top and you shocked a lot, so um, take me down. This seems to be pretty easy for him, but yeah, I really have to remodel my base. And oh, by the way, at that point, I was apparently boosted again. So this is very weird. In any way, I have to remodel that base now. I guess I will go back to the classic corner base with some modifications, um, because in my opinion, it is so much more anti smoky hooker, anti hooker, anti RZM. And also much more difficult for tanks. But by the, by the way, I actually never get raided by tanks. If I scroll through my history here, this is a warrior attack. This is a hookah, smoky hookah attack. Um, this is a smoky hookah attack. Um, this is actually a very weird attack. Apparently, I cannot view it anymore. This is a scorcher suka attack. People are using that lately too. It is quite efficient and effective. But yeah, um, this is another hookah attack. Uh, this is another okay this is a tank attack actually um, I would have uh, loved to see that tech because not a lot of people beat me with tanks these days and as you can see this was the activity log from yesterday um, 10 people attacked me there but only nine succeeded and let's move further down the road um, this was actually a scorcher attack I don't see them that much lately but yeah as you can see it's mostly warriors and smoky hookers so it's actually time to remodel my base and yeah, in any way guys, um, shout out to NGD, shout out to my subscribers and uh, stay tuned for the next video. And by the way guys, I will do a giveaway today. Um, I have very cool limited edition Boo Beach t-shirts to give away and um, I will do the giveaway with you today too. And just a quick announcement, I will fly out tonight, I said it before. And I will be away for two weeks, so there won't be any videos during those two weeks because I won't be able to do videos. I would not be able to upload them and I, I would be able to record them, but I would not be able to edit them and upload them. So two weeks without videos, um, but I will have the giveaway. And when I'm back, I will actually give out the t-shirts, but I will let you, know, uh, let you know more about it in the next video. And yeah, guys, enjoy your weekend, enjoy summertime, have a good one and see you soon. Bye.